Have you been hearing that webinars are dead? Or maybe you've tried a webinar for yourself and it hasn't worked out so well. You're looking at someone, me, who went from making zero sales with her first 20 webinars. What can I say? I can be a bit of a slow learner to making over a million dollars in sales directly using webinars. As of this video, we use webinars in my business to run a seven figure evergreen course funnel, to make sales for my premium coaching program, and to fuel the majority of my live launches. Webinar marketing is very much alive if you use webinars correctly. So in today's video, we're going to cover my top three lessons learned from conducting hundreds of webinars, both my own and helping with my students. For no fluff weekly videos on building your own online coaching or course business, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified. Lesson number one, teaching tips is not nearly as effective or as valuable as teaching thoughts. Ah, uh, this was the hardest lesson for me to learn. I love teaching and I want to give as much value to people who set aside their time to show up for the webinar as possible, just as I'm sure you do. So in my first few webinars, I would teach exactly how to do every single step for the topic that I was teaching. And people would say it was so valuable, but they'd never end up buying from me. And even worse, when we'd talk again in a few months after the webinar, they wouldn't have taken any action on any of the things that we talked about in the webinar. I'm about to share something truly valuable, so lean in. I realized if you truly want to share valuable content, in other words, not just give content that has your audience saying, oh, it's so good, but never doing anything with it, and instead share content that helps them take action and get results, the key is to on your webinar not teach steps, but to teach thoughts. And I'm not talking about fluff thoughts, by the way. I'm talking about thoughts that change the way they think about the problem that you help them solve. Specifically, the thoughts that are holding them back from taking action, like the fears and doubts or myths that they might be believing and thoughts about the right way to get the results that they want so that they understand why what they've been trying up until now might not have been working for them. That's how they start believing that what they want is possible through your methodology. For example, if you're a health coach, one of the top thoughts that you might need to teach your audience is that it's not about counting calories or working out nonstop to get the physique that you want. Instead, it's about eating the right foods you might walk them through a high level overview of your methodology and explain to them why it works so well, especially compared to the other methodologies they might've tried. The result is incredibly powerful. Not only have you provided incredible value to your audience, but you've also just provided them with the motivation and beliefs that they need to actually take action, take you up on your offer of support and get the results that they've been wanting. It's a truly powerful win-win. Lesson number two, longer does not equal better. I used to think that the longer I spent giving value before I made the offer, that that would give my audience longer to build a relationship with me and make them more likely to buy. So my webinars would be about 90 minutes to two hours long. Here's the thing with that though. Even if you're giving incredible value the whole time, you have to put yourself in your audience's shoes. They are people, they are busy, and they are distracted. And they have only so much capacity to absorb value in a given time period. So to most of them, longer is actually not better. In fact, I found that about 40 minutes is the ideal time to be transitioning from teaching your content and giving value into talking about your offer. It also forces you to have to be more concise so that you're giving the biggest bang for the buck per minute. This also applies to when you're handling the Q&A at the end of the webinar. I used to do hour long Q&A sessions and answered everyone's questions while extending the fast action bonus timeframe so that anyone who joined while we were still live was still able to get the fast action bonus. What I found was that actually people were asking the same questions over and over in different ways and overthinking it. Instead, being respectful of everyone's time and 
limiting the webinar to about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes was ideal for giving everyone enough time to make a decision and then we could all get on with our lives. Lesson number three, be upfront about the sale without being salesy. The final lesson I've got for you today is a super important one. A really common mistake that I made and that I see a lot of my students make when they start out is that they think about their webinars in blocks. There's the intro block, there's the content block, and then there's the sales block. That's actually the exact opposite of what you want to be doing. Instead, think about it as one long conversation. From the beginning, you are building a relationship, you're showing your credibility, and you're sharing throughout how if they want more support, you have something to help them. So from the beginning, you make that super clear. You're upfront about having something to offer from the beginning of the webinar. You show how everything you're talking about is related to your offer, and you are unapologetic about it. That's because you know you're delivering incredible value for the free content in your webinar, and you'll be delivering even more value if they do end up buying from you. This also prevents your audience from feeling like there was a switch and bait, like, oh, hey, here's my free stuff, and now here's my offer. Instead, it becomes, here's what's going on, here's how I can help you more. Those are my top three lessons for how to deliver incredible value, do it in a way that feels good to you, and to actually make sales. If you wanna know how to best use webinars in your business and what to use them for, make sure you check out my free video on the coaching business model to use to replace your nine to five salary. I'll show you in there how to use webinars to automate and streamline your sales process. And if you want a step-by-step -step system for what to do to build your own online business, from idea clarity to first paying client to consistent 5K or more months, sign up for my masterclass on the exact system that I used to build my first online business to six figures before I even left my job. I'll show you how I built my first online coaching business using just my job skills from scratch to over $106,000 in four months while juggling a nine to five. I have it linked in the description, so go ahead and click there and you can sign up for it right now. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below and let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. Don't forget to subscribe for my weekly videos, share this with your entrepreneurial friends, and I will see you next time.